Welcome to our presentation on EDB Union. My name is Nat. I graduated a master from University of Alberta and did a child work with my supervisor. The convolutional neural network has achieved state of the art performance in medical image segmentation. These models work very well when we have large training data. That is not the case when the data is limited. To combat this, we can use prior knowledge about segmentation problem. However, CNA itself lacks any mechanism to incorporate such prior knowledge. On the other hand, we have traditional segmentation algorithms. These are usually handcrafted with prior knowledge in mind. Therefore, they need to combine CNN with traditional segmentation so that the latter can directly incorporate adequate prior knowledge when we have limited amount of data. Let's take an example of prior knowledge in a classical segmentation algorithm, the active contour algorithm. In this algorithm, the user provides a candidate central position, the object that they want to segment on the image. Then a star pattern formed from yellow lines. Each line consists of a fixed number of points that expand from the center. We then use a dynamic programming algorithm to choose a single point from each line. The chosen point creates a path that defines the boundary of the object. There are two prior knowledge in this algorithm. First, the boundary of the object must minimize an energy function. Second condition is that the boundary must be smooth. We introduce our method of combining CNN and, and, and classical computer vision algorithm. Instead of letting the CNN directly predict the supervised output, we let the CNN output the uh, input into a classical computer vision algorithm. This algorithm will then predict the supervised output. This creates a combination model of CNN plus classical algorithm. We then train the combination model end to end using supervised learning. To illustrate this idea, in our work, we combine UNET with active contour algorithm, mentioned previously. We call it ADB CNN, end to end CNN plus dynamic programming. We have an image that goes through UNET, which provides an output map. Then the star button is applied onto that output map. An interpolation module is then used to extract the values on the star pattern. Then we use an act the active contour algorithm on the values to extract the chosen point. Then we can project this point back onto the image to get the object boundary. The XT contour algorithm had the arming function shown by the arrows, making it non differentiable. Back propagation does not work for model that had non differentiable modules. To solve this, we introduce a novel general purpose concept called a differentiable bypass. A differentiable bypass is a neural network that is trained to mimic the output of a non differentiable module. During back propagation, we use the gradient of the differentiable bypass as a substitute for the gradient of the non differentiable module. This slide shows the model and the final training algorithm. There are two loops in the training algorithm. The inner loop is used to train the differentiable by bar, while the outer loop is used to train the combination model end to end. For experiment, we test on the lab ventricle segmentation task. On the ACDC and LB Quant 2018 dataset, we have three models EDBCNN, which is our model, UNET, UNET plus DB, which is EDBCNN but not trained end to end. UNET is trained to predict the segmentation, then the active contour algorithm is applied to refine the segmentation. We had training data set with increasing size from 10 MA to 20 MA to full data set. We report result on the full lab validation set, irrespective of the training data set size. We report three metrics, die score, ASD, and HD. For the experimental group, Result, the horizontal lines in the graphs of the data set side, vertical lines of the performance. So the results of the EDBC, EDBC and in big old unit and unit plus active control heavily when the size of the training set is very small. This gradually lessen when the size of the training set increase and when it full data set side, all of them are similar. The fact that EDBC and in big unit and DP significantly show the power of end-to-end -end training. Conclusion. Classical computer vision algorithm can be used to complement deep learning. Training neural networks end-to-end -to, -end to adapt to classical algorithm is better than just applying classical algorithm directly. Differentiable bypass can facilitate, can facilitate learning of differentiable and non-differentiable models together end-to-end, -to -end, and there's a potential to use this differentiable bypass concept to any kind of, of model, not just CNN and algorithm. Thank you for listening.